How's it going everyone? Stranger Things back again with another computer science video and today we are going to be talking about Nano Degrees. So if you are curious about getting a Nano Degree, maybe it's one of your goals or in the process of getting one, this video is for you so stick around. So before I continue, I would just like to announce a piece of good news. I was actually offered the Nano Degree program following my Udacity scholarship which you can find out more about here and I strongly recommend you to watch that video so you can fully appreciate everything that I'm going to be talking about here. Now, all of the stuff I'm going to talk about is referenced on my nano degree experience with Udacity, though I believe most of my pointers will apply to nano degree programs by other education providers. While it seems like my stance on nano degrees is pretty clear based on the video thumbnail, I promise if you stay till the end to get my full perspective, you will become more enlightened about whether nano degrees are right for you. Number one, because nano degrees are held online, nobody is going to hold you accountable. To some extent, the same can be said for offline traditional degrees where self-directed learning is an important component but the extra discipline required from an online program is very significant. Udacity did try to get students to insert reminders on keeping to their study schedule but I don't think that the reminders are very effective because they are unfortunately incredibly easy to ignore and when life happens, you will find excuses to justify your busy schedule and why you don't have time to work on your nano degree and before you know it, it will be too late. Number two, the impact or value of the nano degree on your CV is questionable. Most nano degrees only state that you have completed the nano degree without an indicative grade like A, B, C, or first class, second class, third class. So it is not immediately apparent what the caliber of the graduate is. Project quality can vary drastically from one graduate to the next, and after hiring managers, sniff such issues out when examining github projects or during interviews it can really deflate the credibility of the nano degree number three the expectation of course content might differ from reality when you are signing up to be fair this point applies to all types of educational content but is especially significant when it comes to nano degrees due to the extra time and cost investment required you don't want to be punching yourself in the face when your expectations are so detached from what the course is offering. And using my personal case as an example, I was fortunate because I had a phase 1 Udacity program to prep me for what to expect in the nano degree. But I know of some other students who quickly grew disinterested or unmotivated due to the mismatch of expectations versus reality. Okay, so after throwing all the shit at nano degrees, I do have to highlight that there is some good to nano degrees, it's not all doom and gloom. At this point, I would like to just make a quick plug that I recently completed my first ever nano degree with Udacity and it does demand a pretty high level of commitment and understanding. I really felt a huge confidence boost in using Microsoft Azure for machine learning and I can safely say that the projects in the nano degree were some of the most interesting ones I've worked on in my short lifetime of doing projects under MOOCs. Also, besides covering the machine learning content, the nano degree also offers career related support such as improving your CV, your GitHub profile and preparing for interviews. As I'm not really looking for jobs now, I've only accessed about 50% of the content but I can appreciate its usefulness for new graduates. So after all this back and forth rambling, should you or should you not try for a nano degree? My answer is yes, meaning yes you should try it and only if you have solutions to the three problems I mentioned. For example, number one. How are you going to hold yourself accountable to meet the schedule? And when the course is over, how are you ensuring that you are going to continue being active in this space that you are learning about instead of fading into oblivion? After all, when tech recruiters are hiring, they want to see those active green spots on your GitHub profile. Number two, how are you going to validate that nano degrees credibility on your CV? My advice continue to contribute to open source projects and over time start initiating some of your own projects and let your interest shine. Don't just be a paper chaser and really seek to understand the meaning behind the code you are using, which is something I hope to focus on next as well. 
Number three, how do you align your own expectations with what the nano degree can provide? It really boils down to doing your homework, reading the course content, going through reviews such as this video. And you know what? I don't think this is really an issue. I'm confident that all of you guys still watching to this point are wonderful, diligent learners. So that brings me to the end of this nano degree review and kind of a nice way to close off this chapter on learning with Udacity. Now, if you find this video, do give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more. I will be more than happy to address any queries related to this video. Just leave them down in the comment section below. And who knows, it might just be a part of my next video. So till the next time, keep learning.